Respiridone Consta. 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 I've been on it for about five years now and it's basically ruined my life. Uh, the acuphysia, the restless legs, grinding, whatever you want to call it, is one of the main major concerns. Uh, I've also got weight gain uh, and muscle cramps just everywhere. If I try and flex my muscles a bit, uh, cramps up. It's terrible. But they say it's keeping me well. <laughs> I don't know how it's doing that. But uh, they reckon. And that's, that's the thing. That, it's madness. Psychiatry, modern psychiatry is, is, is like modern day witch hunting. You know, they go after people that are a bit different and uh, don't fit their views and uh, they deal with them and um, they've got they got no sort of they got a entrapment diagnosis system I mean as far as I'm concerned voices are real I mean how do you expect demons and spirits to communicate with us living beings you know this is how they do it and uh, you know, you, you can you can live in a deluded world and think that all this came out. You know, look around you and think all this was just by chance and a, and a primal blimmin' ooze. I mean, you're nuts if you think that. God God has a big effect on you. He uh, he can his he can him or his demons can possess you. They come in on a feeling. You get the same feeling, and they have the same feeling, and they mesh together, and they can control your lives like that. God can smite you dumb, make you forget things. He can incite you. Uh, you you got hardly any control. You know, you think think you're making choices, and they're your choices, and that. But it's all basically being written in for you and designed that way for a alternative evil purpose as far as I'm concerned, and modern psychiatry is, is just part of it, you know, they, you know, they've got not one blood test, not one biopsy or anything to prove that you got schizophrenia, just, just on what you say and what you've done, is all, all they've got to go on, you know, they, they don't know what the chemicals are doing in your brain, like, like, like I reckon the muscle cramps, from what I understand, what I've learned about it, is lack of serotonin. Like they, risperidone and Seroquel and all these antipsychotics, they all, they all block uh, serotonin and dopamine uh, from too much of it or any of it. Your brain getting any of it, and um, and this cause is supposed to help you. Is if you got if you've been labelled like me with schizophrenia, you're supposed to be hallucinating and be freaking out all the time, and uh, need need their drug, but they've got no proof. You know, they, they they've got no way of testing the chemicals in your brain what they're doing. You know, they just they just got on how you're acting, and and they believe they believe in their own lies, so. You know that they'll start saying, "Oh, look, he's better now. He's better." And like a thing they do, they get they brainwash you into believing what they believe, and they do it by a slight, slow nod. But they'll say, "Oh, you've been getting very sick, haven't you? You need these drugs. You need you need this medicine. Otherwise, you'll get very sick." And they nod away and. You watch them, and you there's something about it. You start to nod, and you start to believe in them. And um, this is a problem that's happening in medication and psych modern counselling and psychiatry today. Is is they they they're brainwashing people into being violent. You know, they they're telling you you're violent. You're without these medication, or you do something crazy, and and you believe them, you will. You know, and, and they'll be looking for it anyway. So even if you do something that doesn't fit their norm, oh, he's becoming crazy. You know, and, and it's a madness. And, and it's an evil 
these people are evil. Psychiatrists are evil, man. What they, what they, giving to children and that is is despicable. You know, it's it's terrible. And it's just no no accountability. You know, like they put me on. First, they put me on uh, Risperidone. And that just made me hell agitated and just real anxious and real aggressive. And and then they took me off and put me on a lanzapine. That made me sleep and eat. Then they put me on quetiapin. And then they found out I wasn't taking the quetiapin. So they put me on clozapine. And um, oh, and, that, and that's way back before hal haloperidol and all those old ones. And then, so they, they put me on clozapine. That damaged my heart and actually gave me a mild heart attack. So they took me off that and put me on a higher dose of quetiapin. And for four years, I was taking a minimal dose. Like, they let me take some take-home meds, and I never took them. And then they were making me crush my med medication in a little pot thing and drink it in, in a thing. And, and I was taking hardly any of that. I had a system where I didn't have to take hardly any for four years and I was still I still had the lack of motivation I still had the oversleeping I still had the overeating you know it was it's modern psychiatry has ruined my life they're not they haven't helped me you know and, and they've got to do it with laws as well like I'm under a compulsory treatment order and and it's just you know you got no rights you got right to take the medication or be beat up that's the rights you got, you know, and, and, and they and they say, oh, it's for safety, and it's this, and then they sick the cops on you, and they bust your door down and spray mace in your face, you know, and, and oh, we want to talk, you know, bullshit, you've got no idea, you don't have an idea, do you? You know is a Kiwi expression, you know, mate, <laughs> oh, well, my life's ruined. You know, and I want other people that, you know, like other people are saying it, like, the medication does nothing for me. I still get the odd voice. I still have the odd deja vu experience. I still have the odd freaky dream. Exactly, you know, like, I even get worse dreams now. Now they're sort of, I dream normal dreams. Like, before, I used to have real dreams that were in the spirit world and in oblivion and places like that, where dreams are made and... They're a lot different. Now Now I just get these bullshit dreams where I'm sort of led along and it's terrible. You know, it's it's modern psychiatry. It's it's ruining your lives. And best, you know, I know this, uh, this lady uh, whose son has just been diagnosed as having a psychotic episode. Hearing voices telling him to kill himself and he's bashing his head against the wall and you know, and I think, fuck, he'd be better off killing himself, man. He's, he's, for the rest of his life, he's going to be on a medication that is going to give him no chance to do anything anyway. You know, I mean, what's the point? You know, he should, you know, it should do what the voices say, but I wish I could tell him that the voices are demons and they'll have a better chance to get at him when he is dead. But that's the lying, cheating sort of bastards that the voices are. And, uh... I've got two minutes. But it's the misdiagnosis, you know, like... They're just... They've got no test, you know? You ask them. You ask them to give you a blood test. I mean, there's a bit about... You see this bit about there being less blood flow in, in, a, in a schizophrenic brain, but... Most of these schizophrenic brains have been on antipsychotic drugs for many years before these scans have been done. And then there's people that have low blood flow that are perfectly normal. You know? It, they might be half wits, but... I mean, I, I don't think my brain flows perfectly. I don't, I don't, I've, I've had so much brain damage and beatings and taken so many different drugs over the years. My, my brain can't be right. But, but it's nothing they can fix because they don't know what they're working with. Like, a lack of... Oh, here we go. Ten minutes is gone. I'll go for another one.